Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game. You're welcome at the Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time, we got captured and we started to be the most ridiculous. Hold on. Hold on. Hold time out. Time out. Okay, I'm basement two. For some reason, I thought it was basement three. So I went up, down, up, down, up. Oh, okay. So, that's a crane. Oh boy. How are we going to fight a crane? part of it you can what yeah like go for that army swinging everywhere good enough for me okay <laughs> don't get caught huh? okay right huh? get serious take your I don't shot. I don't know how I feel about this. Alright. Let's get it done. I'm not down. Alright. I don't resist slash, but I mean That's your weak. Come on. Power. Okay, that's not as bad as I expected. Okay, let's see if Sparkling Cannon does anything. It did a lot of damage, but... It's immune to We Are The Glow. Machine, it should be effective oh, then. Yeah. Earthquake? Oh, come on. Powers. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. You heard him, okay? Have fun with this. Okay. Let's go. I probably should have healed it myself yeah. individually. Right. But this is an interesting. I don't know how I feel about an escalator. Let's do the job. You're weak. You know what? Tag team back to the main. That's his name. We haven't done four of us. Let's go. Watch us do absolutely nothing. Drop kick and excavator. Okay. Don't get caught. Gotta do something about this. <laughs> okay, I need to heal. I'm not backing down. Yeah, uh, non before we do huh. anything else. Thanks. Okay, that freaking hurt. Watch this. I don't first uh. Thank you. You're in it now. He's halfway dead at least, but Yeah, 
You know, go all out. Oh, he's stunned. What is he going to do? Let's finish ourselves off, shall we? I just did 4,400 damage. Okay, we better get some levels here. Dang it. Really? We did all that work for shitty to gain the level. Alright. You know what? Let's go ahead and open these and then go back and deal. Should I open there's it? There's no way Sweet. there's people hiding in there. What is she, she? Okay, she. This is her weapon, right? Yes. That's very good. Alright, I like a new shield, please. Should I open it? Got it. I'm good. Wooden flipper. Alright, we're gonna heal very right back. Okay. So everybody's 18, we're full healed, we just say we don't have to deal with that guy, it, hopefully again. So is that cargo? Awesome. Okay, so let me explain, Expl how do you get an excavator down here? Seriously. I don't, I don't get this game sometimes. Uh, but, whatever shall we do? If the answer is nothing, you're right. We don't ever do anything right here. So I'm really curious where the plan is. This is where we're at? Hmm? Where are you know where we're at? The harbor? Guess we must have got there in secret passage. What it would be for? Yeah. Probably transport with the goods. Not all ballooning special. Sup? Is your phone work now? I doubt you. Yeah. You and I were from the Serial Clan? We all want the chairman. Use an excuse to start a war with them, right? Mm -hmm. That's about right. Ooh, uh, I don't know if I like this play at all. Yeah, that's the problem. It's going to break down the Great Wall, and if it falls, that means the Jinjo is going to be gone for a war. Okay. We're going to try to get this cult the chairman of the Serial Clan. Crazy. I guess it, how much we trust him. Strange guy. <laughs> That's the first thing we agree upon. Huh? What? A shooting by the Wu Bang? What did you say? I see. I understand. Wu Bang attacked the serial clan. Yeah. I see two serial clan youth guys that got shot in public. Wow. So it begins. So it begins. So now, like, I'm so confused. Frank? Hey, who the fuck are you? dead on arrival after being shot on Seiryu clan turf. It was a bloodbath. And the killers got away before the cops even showed up. Sounds like this isn't over by a long shot. 
Are we allying ourselves with the Savior Clan at this point? I don't know if I like that idea. Ugh! Even as we speak, Captain Takabe is taking matters into his own hands with a truck full of Yakuza, all armed to the teeth. Doubt Chairman Hoshino even signed off on it. Tetsu, Koji, they'll answer for your deaths in blood. Probably heading straight for Restaurant Row. Oh. Yeah, right into Liumang territory. I mean, I feel we're at a safe point here. So, Takabe is heading to Restaurant Row, huh? That's right where the Liu Meng boss has his front. He's basically a lit spark flying into a powder keg. This is ridiculous. How can it be this easy to destroy a years-long truce? Mabuchi's got everyone dancing to his little tune. And he used us to make sure everyone heard it. At least now we know for sure he killed Nonomiya. Yeah, I remember a shit-eating grin as he said that. We still don't know why he did it, though. Yeah. You thinking of something, Adachi-san? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Just something Mabuchi said. I'm trying to remember the exact words. Who cares what that son of a bitch said? Adachi-san, are you wondering if Nonomiya was killed... Because of us? What? But we had nothing to do with it. Especially you, Sachan. Yeah, I know it wasn't our fault. It was Mabuchi's. But maybe we were a convenient tool for him to get the war he wanted. I don't know, Sachan. But you weren't even a blip on it. Wait. Wait, I get it now. You do? Listen, on the surface, it makes no sense for him to kill Nonomiya, right? Right. We know his true objective is war with the Seiryu clan. Yeah, that's a given. But he didn't need a reason to start one. He could have just done it. Instead, he used us as an excuse. He wants a defense of war. Why? You tell me, detective. Think about it. If it got out that he was stirring the pot, what would happen? Well, the other organizations would retaliate. Exactly. This is Yokohama. The Ijin Three have a strict agreement never to invade each other's turf. Anyone who dares break that rule would be punished by all three factions. Even if that person is a Liu Meng officer like Mabuchi. The penalty sends the dynamiter crank. So he needed to put the blame on someone besides himself. But why us? Think back to what he said starts to come together I was actually starting to worry that no one would water the seeds I planted but then you showed up and now that seed has blossomed into the most beautiful flower he was saying that his master plan was complete get it the seed was Nonomiya's death we watered it by chasing the murderer and the video he took to show his boys and get them all riled up. That was the blossoming flower? That's what I'm thinking. Also, I don't think he wanted us in particular. He just needed someone, anyone, to water the seed. Nonomiya died for that? I don't think there was anything special about Nonomiya either. What? I think he was chosen only because his shop was on Seiryu clan turf. Mabuchi just needed there to be an untimely death of someone connected to the Seiryu. And anyone who reacted to it would serve as his spark for war. Nonomiya and all of us are the pawns in Mabuchi's scheme, but I mean, it could have been anyone. At least we're alive. Nonomiya is dead. Yep. Just because Mabuchi needed a roundabout way to start a war. You must have heard the old secret about how to win wars. Force your enemy to act first. God damn it, Adachi-san. You saying all we did was help Mabuchi's plans? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> that evil bastard.
bastard has to pay. I agree. Let's do it. No way am I gonna let everything go according to his plan. Cool it, Kasia. We need to stay calm right now. Yeah, Mabuchi's obviously a sharp guy. So let's not do anything rash. Fuck that! I'm not standing around and letting him win! Uh... Look, you might believe in that old shit about letting the enemy act first to win the war. But my Anaki taught me different. He said whoever makes the first move is the victor. The guy with steel balls wins! <laughs> Look, you need to chill out. It's such on him. It's so funny. We can stop this war. We just gotta tell the Seiryu captain what's going on. For real? You wanna mess around in gang warfare? Namasan, would you rather let it happen and then we get blamed for the whole thing? I'm not down with letting it happen. Nonomiya wouldn't be either if he were here. Dachi-san. Well, it would piss me off to allow that slick fuck the last laugh. All right, then there's no time to waste. Off to restaurant row. You know, I gotta beg to differ. We should look at conflict as it like. I think brings So, my plan is, we have a lot of things we should do. So let's go do those before we go to the next chapter. Hey, Ichiban. Wanna grab a drink with me? Sure. But do you really know how to knock him back, Sachan? Promise me you'll keep it to one or two? Oh, come on. It's no big deal if we drink more than that. It's not like I'm gonna make a move on you. Heh, <laughs> well... That's a bummer. So, hey, you're technically still a mama at a hostess club, right? Yeah, but I didn't found the place. I was promoted to mama after Nonomiya saw that I was the best hostess there. <laughs> if you're that good a hostess, you'll be bored drinking with me. I ain't much for clever conversation. Don't be so hard on yourself. It takes practice. I definitely wasn't a natural at it. But neither of us is looking for tips right now, so who cares? <laughs> okay. So what's happening with the club now? Still going strong, even without Nonomiya? I've got the girls holding down the fort. They should be fine, barring any earthquakes. Or ex-boyfriends. Oh, pretty impressive that you trust your staff to run the whole joint. They know the basics of the business. I'm the kind of mama who teaches her youngsters well. If you do say so yourself. <laughs> well, I do. But of course, it was that desire to educate that caused all the drama in my family. Was that all the stuff with Nanoha and your dad that you mentioned before? Yeah. Well, at least things have simmered down among us recently. Thanks to you guys. My dad's in a real nursing home now, and Nanoha is looking for a more legit job like she had before. So you call them pretty often? Oh, no. Never. I just have my hostesses secretly check in on them every now and then. Nanoha doesn't want to see me. She'd be furious. Why? You two really can't get along? That's an understatement. I haven't seen her in seven years. I do call her up sometimes, but she never wants to meet in person. I'd like to, though, and I tell her that. She turns me down every time. <laughs> Guess I have no one to blame but myself, really. I'm listening. It's a boring story. You sure you want to hear it? Eh. I'm here to listen. Compassion? That's right, you do. I don't care if it's so boring it puts history professors to sleep. As long as it's from you, I'm all ears. So I have your express permission to rant for the next ten hours, and you'll sit here and listen? Hell yeah. <laughs> well, that's sweet of you. Thanks. 
So go ahead. How come you don't get along with Nanoha? Well, I think it's because I was just too controlling. I always had something to say about everything she did. My mom was sick throughout our whole childhood, so I felt like I had to take care of my shy little sister. Little sister? But you're the same age, unless there's a new kind of twin I don't know about. Of course we're the same age. Her personality just always made her seem younger. She was so timid. I was the one with the guts, just like Mom. It's probably why Mom trusted me more than Dad. He was closer to Nanoha since she took after him. I gotcha. Dad wasn't earning much from the little company he ran back then. I tried to help him out by getting a part-time job in high school. Didn't take me long to figure out nightlife entertainment was where the real money was. Pretty soon, I was essentially the breadwinner of the family. And after Mom died, even more so. All I wanted was for Nanoha to get into a good college and live an honest life. But you think that came off as controlling to her? Yeah. I told her which college to go to. Insisted she become some sort of white-collar professional. But the straw that really broke the camel's back was me chiming in about her new boyfriend. I listed every red flag I could possibly think of, then I asked her if the dude raised any of them. What, like you made a physical list? <laughs> yeah. Stuff like being dirty, acting douchey at restaurants, condescending towards women, always name dropping. There were a lot. I went too far, honestly. But you know what? The bastard did fit a lot of them. She was like, oh, but he's getting it together. He's starting a consulting firm. But I told her to dump his ass. I'm betting she didn't like that. No, she did not. She threw stuff, screamed herself hoarse, cried. Even my freaking dad cried seeing all the drama. Oh, jeez. It was that intense? I think it always bothered him that he couldn't make enough money to help my mom. He was embarrassed I made more than he did. I remember, after he found out what my pay was, he just started doing whatever I said. And then all of a sudden, during this fight, he started sobbing about how he should have helped Nanoha break free from me. Sounds like he was finally letting out everything he'd bottled up. Yeah. And it turned out Nanoha's boyfriend problem was just the beginning. Because in that moment, I realized my family was distancing themselves from me. Sachan. It was, um, seven or eight years ago when I decided to leave home and just focus on work. Imagine how it felt when Nonomiya called and told me about this new family trouble. How Nanoha chose to work at a soap land instead of asking me for help. I was shocked. I really was. Just in case it ever comes up, we're all supposed to pretend you don't know she was working at Otohime Land, right? Knowing my sister, she'd die of embarrassment if she found out I know. Well, then the charade must go on. Oh, <laughs> I think I had one too many after all. I didn't plan on talking for so long, but... Thanks for getting a drink with me, Ichiban. Dang, her life was... Everyone's going through something. Having a friend to talk to just makes it a little easier. Ain't that the truth. Dang it. Yay, we got the bond broken. Yay, more experience. Not really something I was looking for, because I guess she goes down. Alright, so next trip to the story. Have fun. Yo, Adachi san. Hey, Kasaga. Let's have a drink. On me today, huh? On you? You win the lottery or something? Nah. I'm just feeling good because for once, I've got some money left over after sending Takashi his allowance, so... Mm. Bartender, give me something dirt cheap and kerosene strong. My, mm. Yeah, we went with it the last time. I'm glad you were able to get some money to Takashi-kun. Same here. And look what I got today. It's a letter 
from Takashi. <laughs> I always look forward to these. Good shit. Did you read it already? Nope, I was just about to open it. Let's, uh, hope it says something about him passing the bar, huh? Well, <laughs> let's see what it says. I can't read it. Dear Yamada-san, thank you so much for sending money again this month. <laughs> what, what's, what's with the laugh? <laughs> that name, Yamada-san. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it now. The kid knows me as a rich fucker named Yamada. Anyway, let me keep reading. I've been pretty busy with this year's bar on the horizon. Oh, so bar exams are coming up, huh? Yep. I'm counting on him to pass this year. Give my wallet a break. What else did he say? I know it's sudden, Yamada-san, but I have a favor to ask you. The other day when I was riding my bike, I accidentally scraped the bumper of a parked car. Hmm. Apparently it was a really expensive car. Now the owner is demanding a million yen to cover the repair. I don't have that kind of money, not even close. Yamada-san, do you think I might be able to borrow it from you? I'll promise to pay you back after I become a lawyer. Holy shit. One million to fix a bumper? Well, how, how am I supposed to come up with that? And what does Takashi get off asking for such a huge favor? You say that, but doesn't Takashi-kun think you're some rich philanthropist? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess that's true, but shit, what's the real me supposed to do now? Ah, uh, do, 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 do. We're just gonna make some money. I guess you're gonna have to get out there and earn some cash, man, by the sweat of your brow. Guess so. A million isn't something you can just go out and earn. Well, that's where the sweat comes in. You know, I gotta say, you got the most positive attitude of anyone I know, but attitude don't pay the bills. So, I need one million yen. Shit. Where do I even start? Wait, hold on. What's up? We were both surprised about the cost. A million is just way too much for a simple bumper fix. Hell yeah. I mean, you can buy a whole car for that much. Cheap one, but still. I'd say there's a pretty good chance this is a scam. A scam? Yeah. Some con man probably parked his car on a road that was too narrow, then waited for some poor sucker to come by and scrape the car. Once that happens, the con man throws a fit and guilt trips the victim into paying. Damn. You know, you might be right, as fucked up as that is. And it wouldn't surprise me if Takashi fell for it. He studies so much, he probably doesn't know much about the real world. And most likely, he knows jack shit about cars as well. So how about this? You meet up with the owner of the car in person, Say you want to settle out of court. Yeah. If we catch him in a lie, mm, we give him what he deserves. This guy will be sorry he ever saw Takashi. <laughs> I like the way you think, Kasuga. Glad I read you that letter. Happy to help. I'll write Takashi back and ask for the car owner's contact info. Yeah, we'll see what's what. Man, I really thought I was in a tight spot for a minute there. <laughs> well, we're not out of the woods just yet. What do you think I'm celebrating too early? There's some high-end, classier shit cars out there on the road. I mean, limited edition luxury sports cars go for hundreds of millions. And if Takashi-kun really did scrape a car, and it was one of those, then I don't doubt the repair would cost a million. Yeah, but come on, when was the last time you saw a luxury car around here? It's gotta be a scam. No doubt about it. I'm just saying, don't get ahead of yourself. Ahead of myself? I'm just trying to stay positive. Now. How about we drown those worries of yours with a drink? Bartender, pour us a couple tall ones. Put it on my tab. Those two's well. Yeah, something is not right. I agree there. All right, so it's another bond. Let's hold three bond does. Or... Okay, that's it. I expected more than that. Well, while we're here... Anything gone down yet with that legend malt? Well, 
I've been watching the counter like a hawk. But the bartender wasn't kidding when he said nobody comes here. Yeah, he did say this was more of a hobby for him. That's exactly it. The only people coming in are our friends like Adachi and Sachan. Which means that legend malt is probably just gonna sit behind the counter for the rest of our lives. I was worried over nothing. I feel better already. Well, I don't know if you should be that relaxed about it. It's not like he'd carry something he was never going to sell. Oh, no. Welcome. Hmm. What a lovely little establishment you have. Uh. Your first time in, sir? It is. See? He does get actual customers. First time I've seen a first-timer. I've heard some rumors about this place from some good sources. Oh, yeah? Rumors about what? That you carry the fabled whiskey known as the Legend Malt. Ooh, ah. Uh, well, then the rumors are true. Pour me a glass, then, bartender. If anyone can appreciate such a thing, it's me. Uh, Ichiban, what now? What can we do? We gotta apologize before it's too late. But I'm too broke to apologize. Forget about the money. You'll be in even deeper shit if you drink that. I really must apologize, but my legend malt isn't for sale. Why would that be? Is it reserved for your regulars? Not exactly. I just don't think you're fit to order it. Excuse me. You say this knowing I'm the editor in chief of Good Dandy? He's from Good Dandy? No way. What the hell is that? It's a rich man's magazine, full of nice cars and swanky restaurants. Well, that's terribly unfortunate. For you, if you had even a modicum of customer service, I'd have written you an absolutely dazzling review. Put me in your magazine or don't. That's your call to make. Believe you me, I'll be giving you the front page. Everyone's going to know about the snob running this backwater hole. This your idea of a quarrel? Sir. Perhaps, but was it not you who flung the first stone? <laughs> Fine. You backed me into a corner here. The legend malt on that shelf is something I ordered for a very special customer. I don't intend to offer it to anyone but her. And what makes her so special? The fact that she stole my heart. Aww. That bottle was to be a symbol of my affection. Time and time again, she would tell me how she dreamt of being able to try it. So I took it upon myself to indulge her, and waited for her to arrive. But for as long as I waited, she never came through the door. Six months went by, then a year, until I finally got word that she had been in a car accident. She was taken from me. In some ways, that legend malt is the only thing I have left of her. Given that, are you still going to insist I pour it? Uh, not even a word. I have walked through the doors of many a bar in my time, but I've never met a bartender with a tale like that. That quiet strength, the very essence of good dandy magazine. That weird transition. <laughs> he didn't even get to take a whip of the bottle. And now he never will. I guess that settles it. Yeah, but now it's even bigger than we thought. We gotta do the honest thing and come clean. Why? Didn't you hear that story? The legend malts a treasure of his lost love. So I know, but I'll never be able to replace it on pocket change. Oh, we pay it off. Well, if you can't do it alone, then I'll help out. Y you serious, Ichiban? Yeah. All I've been doing till now is help you find ways to dodge the problem. What I should have done is help you do the right thing. Meaning, I'm just as guilty. We're in this together, man. Ichiban, you're a great guy, you know that? But I can't take advantage of you like that, man. I've got to come up with that money somehow. 
<laughs> what a jackass. He swallowed that story hook, line, and sinker. What? Come again? That long lost love of mine? She never even existed. Then why wouldn't you pour in the legend malt? And back when I opened the place, I figured I'd need some high end stuff behind the counter to draw in the big spenders. So I picked up an empty bottle of legend malt and filled it with bargain barrel whiskey. Purely for show. What? Nobody actually orders anything that expensive. But every once in a while, a dimwit like him wants his in. So I give them the same old sob story and they scatter like roaches. Wait, so Namba, that means what you drank was bottom shelf swill. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. Hey, what the hell's so funny? You gotta hear this. Guess what Namba did? Come on, don't say it. Don't you dare. Uh, sir, you can ignore this, Joker. <laughs> I don't understand you people. Guess it was the look of that bottle that got me thinking it was real. That ever happened to you? Where the taste is all in your head? Hey, just be grateful you don't have to worry anymore. I still have to worry about people finding out. Ichiban, you wouldn't tell Adachi or Sachan about this, would you? Y you can't. Don't worry, man. I wouldn't rat you out like that. So, you'll keep it a secret? Yeah. But you have to buy me a drink. Bargain barrel whiskey, okay? Sure. It's a deal. The this game with their sad stories. Change to the chef job. Okay. That may be a useful future installments. Can I do management now? Oh, I guess not. Alright, next up on Yakuza Like a Dragon. We'll have more fun. I'll see you in